Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Excel video. In this one, I'm going to talk about certain mechanics, and it's a bit of a series I've been working on, and I've been doing it in the past as well. I'm going to rekindle it and respark it, where I go through certain mechanics that I think is important for the community to understand and know how they work. Um, and in this video, I'm going to talk about lucky modifiers, what lucky actually does, how it works, and why it doesn't matter at all in certain areas, whilst it's very strong in other areas. So basically what Lucky does is that it, whatever it affects, it will make that specific uh, mechanic roll twice. So for example, if you're having a Diamond Flask, which gives your Critical Strike chances a Lucky, you can actually hold on Alt to see the Lucky things are rolled twice and the best result is used. What this means is that the initial roll is taking your generic Critical Strike chance, and then the game will determine if that attack or a spell is going to crit or not. And if it's critting, then the lucky won't do anything. And if it's not critting, uh, it will then look at the second roll and basically do that same calculation one more time. And that second time, if it does land on two non-crits, then it will do no crit. But if the second roll rolls a crit, then it will choose the best result of that. And that same thing goes when it comes to um, to being unlucky, which I believe we have a wiki here. Let's see if we can find the unlucky. So we have a couple of these. Uh, for example, Cower chain, Chains. Uh, damage from enemies hitting you is unlucky uh, while you're cursed with vulnerability. So what this, uh, this uh, belt does is that as long as you have vulnerability on you, enemies damage is unlucky and what this means is that the damage that they're dealing uh normally you have damage that is based from um a low end up to a high end lightning damage has the biggest range of this so being uh, taking damage uh, that is unlucky is very very good especially versus lightning damage because of the big uh, differences between the low end and high end damage that lightning damage usually comes with for the most part not always uh, so what it means is that you, before the damage is taken on, on your character, it will roll twice and take the lowest value. Same thing with Lori's Lantern, where damage from enemies hitting you, this is applying to everything. So as long as you're low life, every damage that hits you will always roll twice and take the lowest number, making Lori's Lantern a very, very good defensive uh, ring. Now, obviously, a lot of people will uh, mitigate damage in other means instead of trusting the unlucky modifiers for this when it comes to defense. But it is nonetheless a very strong defensive mechanic. Damage maybe is hitting you unlucky while you're on full life from Fox Fortune, and you have chance to block spell damage is luck unlucky. Now, what this does from the Iron Fortress is that if you are about to block an attack, an attack is coming or spell damage is coming to you, uh, and you have fifty percent block chance, for example, it will uh, check that first block, and if that is a block, it will roll again, and if that next roll is uh, and it doesn't have two block chances, it will then take the unlucky one. So that's what unlucky means, and the same thing with lucky. So that's basically how the lucky uh, formula works. Uh, basically, there's a nice visualization of it. Uh, basically, it rolls once, uh, and if it's a crit or non-crit, then it will take the crit if it's lucky. Uh, and if it lands on the no-crit, they will roll again, and it will take the best out of these results, which in this case would be crit. So basically, you have... Um, two chances of actually making sure that you get a crit roll when we're talking specifically about the crit flask. Now that's how lucky and unlucky modifiers actually works in this game. So another aspect of where lucky exists, uh, I'm not sure if I have one, but I'll see if I have it. There are harvest crafts with lucky modifiers and a lot of people for some reason charge a lot more for these. I have one right there. So this uh, craft right here is an augmented rare item with a new modifier with lucky modifier values. Now, what this means is it doesn't mean that there's a higher chance or that it rolls twice and will take the highest tier of a mod because it will only re-roll the actual lucky uh, modifier value. So I'm going to give you an example by going into craft, uh, sorry, the PWDB and we can take, um, let's take a convoking wand and say that we hit, that we hit uh, added the light. Actually, we take something sim more simple. Let's look at mana. Let's pretend we do this one on an item and we hit a mana roll. This may has, uh, it will hit one of these modifiers if the item level is proper for it. So one of these modifiers will hit. And because of the lucky addition to this, whichever mod it lands on, it will re-roll the numerical value similar to a divine or, but on this modifier alone twice and take the highest value. So for example, if we do hit a tier one mana, it will hit this one and it will give me 140 up to 159 mana. But because of the lucky modifier, it will re-roll this twice and take the highest value. So it will, let's say that one of them hits 145 and the other one hits 159. 
it will then roll and give me the 159 because of lucky modifier values. It does not mean that you get two rolls getting the highest tier that some people think that they do. That is not correct. We have another modifier here saying reforge rare item with lucky modifier values. Again, same thing here. Lucky modifier values will just keep the increase the highest value within the tiers that it hit with the crafts that you do get from these type of crafts. Yeah, that's basically all the information I have for you with this short video. Um, if you do like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to supply as many of these uh, quick videos talking about certain mechanics and modifiers and how they work in the game because the game is very complex. But if you uh, like these videos, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like button, subscribe for more content. Until next time, Exiles, stay safe and keep rocking.